At NC State, we have a surveillance program to monitor for the presence of the SARS-CoV-2 or COVID virus in our students, our faculty, and our staff. And so we built a laboratory called the Wolf Tracks Laboratory that allows us to do that internally and as opposed to using a vendor to send out uh, PCR tests to detect the presence of the virus. The process for surveillance at NC State starts with student health and emergency management and mission continuity, which is responsible for collecting the samples, getting them ordered in a medical record, and then delivering them to our laboratory at the College of Veterinary Medicine. When samples arrive at the laboratory, they potentially have live COVID virus in them. So the first step that we want to do to make it safe for our environment and our employees is to get those deactivated. We do that by putting them in very high temperatures for a period of time, which makes the virus inactive. After that, we can open the tube and put it onto some machines like that behind me that actually facilitate the detection of the virus and report that back to Student Health for notification of people that were tested. So the NC State Surveillance Program right now tests about 11,000 people a week. We can um, have that go up or down depending on the needs of the university, but really we try to stick somewhere between 10 and 12,000 for optimal efficiency and data going back to Student Health. So the benefits to NC State doing this COVID surveillance and detection in-house as opposed to using a commercial vendor is that it's more efficient. We can often get results back well within 24 hours. Uh, and it also saves the university a significant amount of money. We can run the test in-house for about a third of the cost that we would be charged by commercial vendors to do the same assay. We can monitor the active prevalence or the presence of the virus on campus and keep that at a very low level so that we can maintain uh, student housing, Greek life, some other on-campus activities, which allows for a better and more natural college experience, but also keeps everybody safe by keeping that presence really low. We are able to control the numbers of tests that we do and prevent those people from going to other free Wake County testing sites or other commercial vendors, which allows for better access for the community as a whole. We have four to five staff members that work full-time in the Wolf Tracks laboratory to process anywhere between 1,200 and 2,000 samples a day. We also have four students that have different opportunities in our laboratory, two undergraduate, a graduate student, and a DVM student that are all supporting our efforts, uh, helping with the data analysis, conducting some research projects. A lot of people feel like they want to find some way to contribute and to have the opportunity to test people and help to control the on-campus spread of coronavirus has been uh, really humbling and exciting for me.